six weeks means that a lot of footballers who perhaps were injured or were out of form, obviously this is the main fitness issue of how fit's everybody going to be. But for the people who had, you know, impact injuries or whatever, there's going to be people who were injured who might now be fit again. Can you talk about who some of those guys might be and how that might, they might impact the, uh, uh, the title race? Yes. Um, uh, well, well, the Germans, they have been able to train, train in a way now for the last weeks. And I've talked to German, German football coaches uh, and they said to me, but Jan, do you know what they do in the other club? So they are very suspicious what they do. Some clubs <laughs> are playing 11 against 11. They have a friendly behind closed doors and so on and so on. So there have been a bit of suspicious how, how much they have gone. But yes, for Lewandowski, of course, uh, another six weeks uh, with his injury going and all that thing. But I think it's, it's, there is a serious issue to this because I think that a lot of these players, they are not used to have five or six weeks without uh, football. I, I mean, I am a, a, I'm a simple pitch side reporter. And when, when yesterday my, my wife, who is not interested in football, asked me, when does the German football start again? Then you know it's time for the football to start. <laughs> but, 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 but I think that that thing is it's going to be very in, in, interesting to see uh, who the players, who have they tackled this time, playing all on their own, doing their training, have they done it 100%? Has anybody done it 150%? Have they overdid, done it, and so on and so on. So I think that there is a big chance. It must be hard to be a gambler now. First of yeah. all, you, you take the home advantage away. Uh, that, will, that will disappear. And, and secondly, you, you are not sure how the mental balance, and not only in terms of uh, of illness kind of thing but where is your motivation are you over motivated how much do you look forward to play play football again do you look too much forward to play football again so it's it's a big thing for the the coaches and the sport directors of germany to find the right balance in their squad so i just wanted your your thought about the the, the title race because maybe we we you know we maybe have forgotten a bit but there's there's still a, a tight title race there are four points uh, bayern ahead of dortmund five over Leipzig, they're still, Bayern will have to go to Dortmund uh, as well. They, they have some tricky away games coming up, coming up too. Where do you think? Do you still think Bayern has, have, have the title uh, already in, under control? Or do you think that a lot of things can happen now with all those situations? Yes, I think that, um, that we, we are talking about this coming out on the other side. And I think that is, makes it even more, more excited. What, 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 will, that, will that mean something? What will it mean to, to Dortmund to play without the yellow wall? I mean, what, what, will, what will that do to people? Will they, will, they will get teams to, to signal Iduna Park and they will come there and nearly be afraid of this yellow wall. That will disappear. But I think that uh, to, to summarize what had happened in the corona time, a uh, thing has been settling quite well in, by Bayern. They got Hans Flick to sign the contract. They have extended some contracts. There are still the Neuer thing, but uh, mm. Neuer will be sorted out. And now I saw he got another 19-year-old girlfriend, so he sorted out for <laughs> privately. So now they just have to sort him out. <laughs> no, no, just sort, sort out his contract. And things like it's, it's, it's more or less coming into to gear. But, but what we do know about Bayern, Sometimes it's good for Bayern not to have so much media there. And then, then they can work very hard on this. RB Leipzig, how much will it influence them? The team of Werner now will be, be linked to, to every club. Uh, what will it do to the finances to Schalke, who were, they were talking about they nearly be bankrupt. You, you talked about Werder Bremen, who had to make a loan in a bank to just get going. And things that did this will make a big influence on the game. And, and I think when we, in uh, three or four months' time, will we'll analyze uh, the, the, uh, the post-corona time, so to say, we will, we will discuss the winners of the corona. There will be teams now that will jump on the table. There will be teams that will have a, a terrible thing because they will lose maybe the home advantage and so on and so on. And, and some player not as stable as we are used to do. So I think that we could, it must be terrible, terrible for the gamblers. And thank God I'm not a gambler. You know what? By my calculation, I, I did a detailed study while you were talking. That means that this weekend is the last weekend without top flight European football. No disrespect to Belarus. So thank you for that. I'm psyched. I'm excited. And uh, we hope to catch you again soon. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.